Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Tuesday, September 5th. The opening sentence is from Psalm 19. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The Confession of Sin on page 12, Book of Common Prayer. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father for his sake that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins to repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth, the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. This morning we have several psalm readings, and then we'll have a reading from Ephesians. The psalms appointed for today are Psalms 12, 13, and 14, and they can be found starting on page 280. Help me, O Lord, for there is no godly one left, for the faithful have vanished from among the children of men. They speak falsely, every one with his neighbor. They flatter with their lips and deceive with a double heart. The Lord shall root out all deceitful lips and the tongues that speak proud things. Which have said, with our tongue will we prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Now because of the trouble of the needy and because of the deep sighing of the poor. I will rise up, says the Lord, and will give help to everyone who longs for it. The words of the Lord are pure words, even as silver that is tried in the furnace and as gold that is purified seven times in the fire. Preserve us, O Lord, and save us from this perverse and evil generation. The ungodly walk on every side. When wickedness is exalted among the children of men. Psalm 13. How long will you utterly forget me, O Lord? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I seek counsel in my soul and be so vexed in my heart? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes that I sleep not in death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. For if I am cast down, those who trouble me will rejoice. But my trust is in your mercy, and my heart is joyful in your salvation. I will sing of the Lord, because he has dealt so lovingly with me. Indeed, I will praise the name of the Lord God Most High. In Psalm 14, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. 
They are corrupt and have become abominable in their doings. There is none that does good, no, not one. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any who would understand and seek after God. But they have all gone astray. They have altogether become abominable. There is none that does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, all those workers of evil, who eat up my people as bread and call not upon the Lord? There were they brought into great fear, even where no fear was. For God is the generation of the is in the generation of the righteous. Though you have made a mockery of the counsel of the poor, yet they put their trust in the Lord. Who shall give salvation unto Israel out of Zion? When the Lord restores his captive people, then shall Jacob rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The uh, New Testament reading today is from Ephesians, uh, a reading from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Ephesians, beginning with the fourth chapter, the first verse. I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belonged to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to, to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives and he gave gifts to men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean but that he also descended into the lower regions, the earth? He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave the, to, and he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> The canticle for this morning <clears throat> is found on page 18 of the prayer book, A Song of Praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will, will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depth. In the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. <clears throat> we continue with the Apostles' Creed, which is found on page 20 <clears throat> together i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day, he rose again. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. O Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow after us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This is Tuesday, and on Tuesdays we have a prayer focus on the neighborhood surrounding Christ the King. Heavenly Father, gracious God, beloved Son, <clears throat> and powerful Holy Spirit, we give thanks for pouring out your mercy and your love upon us. We ask that you would be in the neighborhood that surrounds Christ the King be in the businesses, the other churches, the family houses, as well as the schools. Show us how you would have us be your servants in this area, how we should walk, how we should talk, whom we should visit with. Show us, Lord, and we will follow. Thank you, Lord. God, thank you for the neighborhood um, that you've placed Christ the King inside of. Um, pray that you would give um, give divine appointments uh, with neighbors this week um, as people are interacting in places of business and schools and workplaces that may be nearby. God, would you have opportunities to just share your love. Um, pray that Christ the King would shine as a light in the neighborhood that there'd be unity between CTK and other um, gospel center churches that are nearby. But would you, God, we thank you. It's no accident you, that you've placed us there. We pray that you would just be glorified through our geographical place in that neighborhood, Lord. A prayer of St. John Christostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge for truth in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us 
can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.